So we now have clarity that uh, the UK is going to leave Europe. Uh, the full ramifications of that are still being teased out. But on FarmersJournal.ie this uh, this afternoon, what we look at is the immediate impact, and I suppose the real uh, area of concern for farmers is what impact will it ha have on beef and sheep prices. Uh, at this stage, it looks uh, as if the trade remains steady, uh, both for beef and sheep, a combination of tight supplies and cattle uh, haven't already been purchased for Friday's kill. There's a little bit of uncertainty looking ahead, and I suppose everybody's looking at exchange rates, but what we're probably seeing playing out is that this is not only a, an issue for the UK affecting sterling, but it's also an issue for the Eurozone, which is affecting the value of the Euro. So there's maybe some uh, little positive in that the Euro white might not, or the sterling might not fall as far as possible, uh, as far as we maybe had envisaged against the Euro. So that, that's positive. I suppose at the minute that looks steady. Uh, some farmers are looking at opportunities uh, and uh, that opportunity, I suppose, is also a concern to the machinery trade in relation to with the exchange rate fluctuations that farmers are looking to the UK now as a source of second-hand machinery. Uh, so I suppose they're all more short-term. Longer term, uh, I think uh, Europe has come out with quite a staunch uh, position in relation to the UK, saying that, look, you have to uh, implement Article 50 right away. We don't want a long, protracted, I suppose, divorce. And they want Europe to actually, or the UK, sorry, to actually uh, start proceedings right away. So that'll be a two year process. And there's no doubt there'll be unexpected consequences of that. And there'll be a lot of uncertainty created. And I suppose from an Irish context, and in particular for Irish agriculture, you have our, uh, the largest export destination for our beef, over 4 billion euros worth of total food exports. But again, 3 billion. Uh, coming back in. So it is a very important market. Uh, so in terms of market access, it's going to be key. What's becoming clear as well is it's unlikely or almost uh, uh, positive that Ireland won't get special preferential treatment for Ireland uh, or for the UK. And that raises an awful lot of issues in relation uh, primarily to uh, uh, Ireland, the trade between Ireland and Northern Ireland or Southern Ireland and Northern Ireland that has a 300 uh, kilometer land border. Looking further ahead, there, there's uh, implications for CAP, there's implications on the WTO, there's implications with Mercosur, will, will the UK, which has a long history of a cheap food policy, will they look to Mercosur for their, uh, as a source of their beef, currently substantially cheaper uh, than, than Irish beef today? But they're all long-term long uh, issues that need to be played out, and we'll certainly get a lot more clarity on those over the next, uh, in the coming weeks, but uh, again, it will be uh, a long process and we won't have full clarity in this, I would imagine, for at least 12 months.